So it is my honor also this morning to welcome Professor Tyrone Pretorius from the University of the Western Cape. Professor Pretorius is the seventh rector and vice chancellor of the University of the Western Cape. He has also got holds two doctorate um, degrees from the University of the Western Cape and the University of the Free State, and his career in the higher education spans over 33 years. He's been co-author, author, and editor for many journals and publications, and it's our honor to welcome you today, sir. Um, please, if we may give Professor Pedorius a warm welcome. Colleagues, good morning, and uh, apologies for my appearance. But it looks uh, worse than it actually is. <laughs> I, I wish I could uh, have a brave story to tell you of uh, how I managed to save the kitty from the tree. <laughs> but the reality is it's just clumsiness, nothing serious, some swelling, some scraped skin. And so the dressing is more not to expose you <laughs> to my swelling and scraped skin. Um, Professor Francis Peterson, who is, who is not here in his absence, uh, Vice Chancellor of the University of the Free State, Professor Pamela Gillies, also in her absence, uh, Vice Chancellor and Principal of Glasgow Caledonian University in Scotland, <coughs> who I'm told is also the lead institution, uh, Professor Sibongile Mutua, also in her absence, the Vice Chancellor of Nelson Mandela University, uh, Dr. Laura Biss, Office of the Vice Chancellor Nelson Mandela University. Where is Dr. Biss? Uh, I don't know you, if you remember me contacting me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Professor Daniel van Loo, Executive of the College of Business and Economics, the University of Johannesburg. All the delegates from the partner institutions, social innovators, guests, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to all the representatives from the participating institutions. This is really a unique gathering and it is an initiative that you should be very proud of. It is not often that you get a project such as the Common Good First Digital Storytelling for Social Innovation that draws together 11 institutions of higher learning that spans two continents and has social innovation and more importantly inclusion at community level as its heart. Congratulations to all of you both in your individual but also in your institutional capacity for your dedication and your commitment to seeing this project through to fruition. UWC is recording me. This is not my <laughs> While we are here to mark the closing of the formal three-year project, that was funded by the Erasmus Plus program. We are also celebrating the start of the actual project. I am led to, um, to believe that from here, social innovators across South Africa will have a digital platform where they can share their stories and build new networks of best practice across the world. Let me pause for a moment and reflect on the lessons and benefits of the Common, common Good First project. I'm told, firstly, it will grow digital literacy and ICT practice among South African social enterprises through the use of a digital platform. This is a growing area of discussion, using digital technology for social good to tackle some of the world's toughest challenges, whether it's illiteracy, poverty, mobility, or health. Secondly, this platform, I understand, 
will open doors for our social innovators as they will now be able to connect across geographical boundaries with their peers around the world. This has particular relevance for the capacity to enhance all lives. Thirdly, and very importantly, what common good first teaches us is that collaboration for social change is possible when institutions and organizations are determined and committed. Quite often, and, and I've also been guilty of that, we hear the promises of collaboration, but in practice, it is quite different when everyone pulls in a different direction. Yet here you have a range of diverse partners institution, institutions who pull in the same direction to make a change. This is an important example not only for us as universities, but one, one that can be applied to the corporate sector and to government as well. Finally, this project speaks to the university as a participant in societal change. Too often, we are described and regarded as, allu as aloof to the needs of the society in which we are located. But Common Good First takes precisely the opposite approach because it speaks to the university as being an engaged co-creator within society. With those few welcoming remarks, I want to hope that you have great discussions and debates over the next two days about the project and the potential it has to fundamentally change communities in South Africa. Once again, congratulations on an inspiring collaborative project. Thank you.